All right. Oh, microphone shown. All right, we are starting Blossom Tales tonight. I thought about it long and hard, <laughs> and uh, decided that the EX mode Parasite Eve just was not for me. Um, I really thought about it, and that last ten levels before I died was just a, an absolute slog. And it's gonna move on. So here we are. Get a little Zelda like. That's what we haven't heard yet, Grandpa. Of course she's still in bed. That's how all good adventures start. Okay. She doesn't actually know where the castle's at. She just has a rough estimation the castle is probably in that direction. Got it. Not my problem. I have to go to the castle. Dame Lily. in the hallway left of the library. That's really cute. The sprite works nice.
Gasp. Health potion. Wonder if that's telling me that that's bombable, but I don't have any bombs. Statues look like they've been moved recently. We moved on, yes. Ha! This is Blossom Tales. We are Lily, a Knight of the Rose, and uh, we have been tasked as a new recruit to go and clean out some rats. It's actually like uh, Princess, it's like Zelda meets the Princess Bride. Um, we've got a grandpa telling the story to his two grandchildren and they are serving as the narrators. Yeah, from what I under from what I have seen in other people playing it, they will occasionally interrupt the story and change things. Um, there's like there's a spot where it's like, no, they aren't pirates, they're ninjas, and it'll they'll turn into ninjas. There's a lot of rats. Well, now, this is just some horseshit. Like, how did the rats get past all this? Lies. You're right, in there, Grandpa. You're not telling it right. What are you doing tonight, Gaia? Terrible, drop the new stickers, working on a fall sticker sheet. I was gifted some sake to try tonight. Nice. So is this is this tipsy Gaia?
missing a switch? Am I not seeing it? There it is. Like, what am I not seeing? Apparently it's find this find the statue. You're sober right now. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we have magic now. Second portal stone activated. Deepest room of the dungeons only found a source of the doys. It was the king of the rats. Oh, how cute. The dangerous rat king would be Lily's first real challenge as a knight. I do love tipsy snarky Gaia. Did you did you see that thing I sent you, by the way? The uh, Yes. Yes, the Sephiroth. I, okay, listen, I, I want a job where my duties are to think about, like, this, this, this semi-attractive goth-looking video game character is clearly seven foot tall, which means he's got a donger that's got to be at least 13 inches long. Like, I want that job. Like, give me, give me that job. Easy game. With a full heart, Lily was now even stronger. Oh, and I have bombs now. My science teacher says explosives are dangerous. Rightfully so, Chris, but our young knight could use them to destroy enemies, obstacles in her path, and cracked walls. Oh, like that. Working on them arm muscles. After defeating the Rat King, a curious Lily entered the secret doorway. It led to a strange room filled with many smelly odors. So she's in a bathroom? What? No, no, it was Crocus's secret lab. Cool, I wish I had a secret lab. It was there that Lily would find an awful note revealing Crocus's evil plan. Ah, but first we got the chest. Well, he finds three more pieces of these special crystals, she'll have more energy. Crocus is the king's mage. Let's see here. Do not read unless you are me. Soon I will find finally be powerful enough to cast a sleeping spell on my foolish brother, King Orchid. 
With him out of the way, I will amass an army of the waste in the wastelands and use it to launch an assault on the kingdom. The flowery throne of Blossom King will be mine at last. After reading the note, Lily ran off to warn the king as fast as she could. But unfortunately, she was too late. Crocus had already started his dreaded curse. No! Seriously, though, like... Did you notice that the statue had... multiple donger pieces that you could swap out? And listen, I'm just saying... Like, okay, so maybe maybe Sephiroth isn't your thing. I absolutely appreciate that they are going equal opportunity because that Tifa statue was pretty ridiculous. Yes, this product includes Sephiroth plus exchangeable private part plus detachable clothes, plus three exchangeable props. I mean, listen, okay, I don't, I don't buy those kinds of statues. They're not my thing because one, they're expensive, and two, like, anime slash video game characters have never really done it for me on, like, a sexual level, okay? But, like, if you're into that sort of thing, cool. And I feel like those statues are really well done. <laughs> now, I do want to say, though, that this Chris Redfield p statue by the same, by the same studio Absolutely. Absolutely. That that link is actually safe for work. There's nothing. There's nothing that you can see on that. Although the, there is a there. If you scroll down, there is a a one six scale Aaron Yeager and Levi Ackerman in bath towels, which can also be removed. But yeah, like. I am all about this. You chose the wrong wizard to interrupt, people recruit. You cannot believe? What can you not believe? What can you not believe? I was not a huge, uh, yeah, I was never a huge, like, I, I have known a few friends who have been into those statues along the way over the years, and it's like, okay, cool, that's a, that's a lot of, to me, it was always like, well, that's a lot of money to spend on an action figure you can't pose. Like, <laughs> you know, like. But to each their own, like, I get it from an art art perspective. Like, I've always thought that, you know, as a piece of art, it's cool. But, like, I was always more of an action figure person, like. By cursing the king with a spell of eternal sleep, Crocus could now make his move. Um, also, uh, I don't know if you have... Gaia, I don't know if you have TikTok. But I have a TikTok now. Uh, I have been posting my clips to it. Uh, and hilariously, my clips on TikTok get way more views and likes than... Anything I post on YouTube, which just kind of blows my mind. And my TikTok is approximately 48 hours old, and it's already got like 
150 times the likes and views that my YouTube channel has. And my YouTube channel has been going for months. PVC statues. Yeah, like, I... You don't have one personally. Fair enough. I didn't know if you did because of your sticker shop or not. I was gonna try and be like, oh, yo. Give me a follow. I feel like I should just clip that and make that my... I you my Twitch channel trailer. Yo. Follow. Hold on, we'll do this even better. Hey there. Give me a follow. Back to the game. Lily is brave. Of course she'll help. Where is the first ingredient? I want to assist the knights. This task is far too dangerous for a new recruit. Stay here and continue your training, young one. But despite her orders, Lily was determined to save the, to save King Orchid. Even if it meant venturing into the dangerous lands she had only heard about in stories. Places even the best knights fear to enter. She's not afraid. Yeah, so where does Lily have to go first, Grandpa? She must go to, um, let's see, I think I forgot. Grandpa! Wait, I remember, Lily must go to the ancient land known as Golem's Haven. There, she will find the first ingredient for the potion, Fairy Clover. Woohoo! To reach Golem's Haven, Lily must venture south of Blossom Castle into the wilds. <laughs> Behold. I really need to get a second green screen to cover the rest of this wall. <laughs> Is what I realized from that. <laughs> Thank you so much for clipping that. No! Oh! Please don't. Please don't die. Oh, I get it. We don't actually have a number of bombs. We have... Uh, we have, like, a stamina gauge. And so the number of bombs that we can throw is determined by the stamina gauge. We need to come back down here. And there was a crack that I could bomb earlier that I saw. And I'm gonna go bomb it. B -b -b bomber man, B -b bomber man. Hey, Pizza Heart. A sacred heart piece. Like, I saw that crack earlier, and I was like, hmm, crack. Wow. This is a, this is a lot of beds. Oof. You know, I, I got 
I keep hitting A to read is the problem, and it's B to read. A to bomb, B to read. A to bomb, B to read. Very important that I remember those because I don't want to accidentally murder somebody who's trying to give me information. Unless they aren't giving me information, in which case, bombs away. This was totally worth it. Oh, it was just coins. Give me something good. Didn't need those barrels. Oh, I didn't need that sign, I hope. Oof. We got in the shop. Let's go see the shop. Oh, we got a gear. Metal gear. You have 50 gold. He's coming in. Lily enjoyed stooping around other people's houses and taking things that didn't belong to her. <laughs> That's right. Behold, Lily's life of crime. So this company, oh. Yes! Uh, I helped you. And now I will collect all these coins that you spent time carefully putting in jars. We can finally have furniture like normal people. It's like, I instantly saw it and I was triggered. Like, must start smashing jars! Must start smashing jars! <laughs> was amazing. I love my sisters, but I love having my own personal space even more. Cool. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for your patronage. That piece of heart isn't going to buy it isn't going to pay for itself. Welcome to the Blossom Kingdom Post Office, your number one choice for letter and parcel delivery. We're currently looking for a responsible and adventurous individual to deliver mail all across these lands. Hmm, hire a little girl? Why not? Want a job? Great, you start today. In fact, right now, take this letter to Carmine, one of the red-haired gals. She lives just south of here. Oh, hey. I think I literally visited her just a second ago. Are you asking me to end your sisters? <laughs> Possibly. Definitely not happening. Please return to the postmaster and give him my regards. Okay. Not like it was far or anything. Anyway, here is your next letter. This was very important, so please be careful. It must be delivered to Jennifer in Gollum's Haven. She lives with the druids. Far from here. Sigh. Hey, that's convenient. That's where we're headed anyway. I break you. I can break you! Yes! No! Oh, 
Ah, balls. Wrong button. Okay, I'll be leaving now. Thanks, guards. Just keep on guarding. I'm wondering if this game has Zelda's penchant for putting things just out of... Yep. Hidden path? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe, no? That seems kind of like a waste. Gotta be something here, right? That's a very, in, that's a very oddly specific... This game is available on the Switch. Uh, it's currently on sale on, on sale on Steam uh, for like four dollars, I think. And the sequel just came out, and it is also on sale. Um, it's a it's honestly a little no no. I uh, I elected against Parasite Eve. I realized that the last 10 levels of that turned into a real slog and I just wasn't feeling it. So we're playing Blossom Tales, which is an adorable little Zelda-like that answers the question, what if Fred Savage's granddad read to him the story of Zelda? I'm so sorry, run away! We were on our way to Blossom Castle when Wizard Crocus cursed the king. I think it's best if we just camp out here for a bit and see how things work out. Wow. Fair weather peasants. Fair weather peasants. How are you doing, Brid? Hello, do you know there are ancient wonders all over this kingdom? It's true, maybe our paths will cross again while I'm out there. Brid, I think you're overworking yourself. I think it's time that you just sit down, relax, and watch an amazing streamer. Like, are you trying to hurt me, bird? Is that what you're trying to do? Huh? Yeah, I got a sword. What do you got? Huh? Huh? I don't. This is clearly a puzzle, and I don't understand. Wait. Oh, so you will, you will hurt me, you little asshole. Boom! Nope. That wasn't the answer. A 
well-placed bomb was not the answer there. Smash all the things! Give me the monies! Alright, let's see what we got here. Close, come back later. Fuck you. I don't want to come back later. You just lost a customer. I don't know who you- I don't even know who you are or if you're taking customers, but you just lost a customer. Four twenty. I didn't do anything but one load of laundry on Saturday. Gotta make up for that. No. I mean, I understand what you're saying. I do. On some level, I understand. But also... Sometimes you gotta pace yourself. Ow! He shot me. That dick shot me. Alright, so there is clearly a hole up there that I'm going to be able to reach at some point in time. And I'm not sure how, because I don't see a way up there yet. I don't think I'm going the right way. Maybe I am going the right way. Maybe, but maybe I need to go down. <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, the game was released on, on Steam first, as I understand it. And uh, it did not make much money there. At all. And, like, the developer wasn't sure if they were going to be able to keep their, their studio going. Um, and they released it on Switch. And Sin, it yes. Maybe you need to go down. Oh, wow. Uh, I think... Yeah, this looks like an arrow puzzle. This is absolutely an arrow puzzle. Fuck you, flowers. Grr, fuck you. Grr. Aha! Alright, we'll be back. Thank you so much for the bits, Brid. Um, yeah, so this, this, basically, uh, they, they released the same game on Steam, and it kind of... <laughs> Indeed. It, it, it literally saved their studio from closure, is my understanding. And now we have Blossom Tales 2, so I hope that Blossom Tales 2 sells really well. I have done my part. You know, that may, okay, so maybe, maybe I'll, 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 I'll give you that argument, but I have also heard from, or read from a lot of different developers, that's the second spot where there's a dark spot, and I wonder if I'm going to get a shovel at some point. Um, anyway, I have read from several, several accounts from indie developers that it is so much harder to get a game to actually be a success on Steam than it is on Switch. So, I don't know what to say. You know, I didn't really notice that it 
Uh, yes, I wish to go to Golem's Haven. That's where the quest tells me to go. Uh, I guess I didn't realize it had turned to night, but now that you say it, I, I see it. Oh, there's little bugs. Can I kill them? They're little, like fireflies. It's just that it's so much easier to release a game on Steam for like nothing. Which is why there are so many asset flips on Steam. So you just, like the market just gets absolutely crowded. Uh, we can't go that way yet, okay. So noted. Nintendo Indie Directs a lot get a lot more attention, I feel, than other presentations. Yeah, that's true. The druids were under attack. Gasp, by what, Grandpa? Duh, evil archers brainwashed by Crocus. No, they were they sent their rock monsters to do their dirty work. Yikes, both sound quite terrible, but... So, uh, we're gonna do a poll... And we're going to allow additional votes. I set for two minutes. There you go. And I need to wrap up yesterday's. Sorry, I still, I had not picked the results from yesterday's prediction. Yeah, this is, this game, the thing that struck me when I watched Tetra play a little bit of it is that it has a ton of polish. Like, it is, it is really well thought out and implemented. I love that we are getting so many more Zelda games that aren't actually Zelda games, you know, that aren't official, like, part of the Zelda franchise games. Like, it is clear that we are, we have hit a, we've hit this point where it's easy enough to develop a game that, that if you have the time and the will to do it, you can. And also we've hit an era where, like, people are, are looking at the games they love and being like, I really want to make that game. We're almost at the end here of our poll. And the results are... Archers. There's a group of evil druid archers attacking their peaceful brethren. Okay, we got feathers.
Thank you for saving us, Sir Knight. Please come inside. Hmm, you're a lot younger than the other knights who passed through here. They already left to the temple, one of the last places where fairy clover still grows. But I fear their impatience will prevent them from activating the magic stones protecting the entrance. One must watch carefully and listen to the tones, and not hack away like a fool. If you're also headed there, be wary of the druids that have defected from our group. They now serve the dreaded Dark Wizard. Okay. I was that bored. Give me your money. The old clover shop. That'd be hilarious if we could just walk in and be like, yeah, give me that clover. Ah! <laughs> okay, is it... I realize now that it's supposed to be 50 grams, but the way it reads is like, that's 50 gold worth of silver! Very rare, very expensive, 200 gold! <laughs> See what the other let's see what the other buildings have to say. Oh hey, look. There's literally a building with a bunch of feathers. So they need twenty of them. Okay. So noted. the chest please I need to I'm... Ooh, thank you a resurrection flower they're said to restore the wearer's spirit when they're about to die yeah this game is such a this game is clearly a love letter to the original Zeldas I, you know, I know that that was probably a fam- Ooh, hey. Who need- Yeah, you don't need your stupid fucking chairs. Go away. Mail has been delivered.
Oh, we got a scroll. Disciple of the Rose in the Chapel of the Blossom Ca at Blossom Castle. If Lily brings the scroll back, perhaps Elisa will reward her. I'd never have to feed it or pick up poop. Woohoo! I mean, that does seem like a plus for owning a pet rock. For a jar of my mushroom soup? I don't have a jar of mushroom soup. Who has time to get mushroom soup? Do I look like Campbell's? A blossom spirit? These powerful beings are sworn to aid you when released. Was it a scary spirit, Grandpa? Like, did it have big red eyes and breathe fire? Uh, sorta. It had big wings and, uh, antennas coming from its head. I step on this? I think I stepped on this, but we're gonna make sure. Well, we're gonna get the big thing first, right? Honestly, this one sounds a lot like a, like an actual Zelda song. What the? Interesting. Oh man, they are... They're not very nice. Please die and stop hurting me. Evil garden gnomes, yep. That cast confusion on you. Oh, fuck me, it's Woodman from Mega Man 2. Oh god. Oh, that's just cheating. Ah. Are you... Okay. What's over here? Ah, 
it's the other side of that shortcut. That oh, hey, there's a hole. Going down the hole. Gonna get to the bottom of this hole. Lily could not believe her eyes. Up ahead were two earth fairies. Welcome to our sanctuary. We sense a noble and virtuous spirit within you. Please allow us to bless you with a gift. Hey! Pizza heart. <laughs> I already gave you a heart. What do you want? Those things are rare, you know. <laughs> Oopsie. So the solution to, to to everything that's evil is just to beat it until it's no longer bad. That's what it is. Just beat it, beat it. There's another dark spot. I really think we're getting a shovel. Something tells me from my years of gaming that we're gonna get the ability to dig stuff up. Oh Lord! Well, this is shallow, I can walk on it, okay. Aha! Behind the... God damn it. Ugh. I hate Simon. I hate Simon puzzles. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them! It's something to write with. I added another game to my backlog today. Damn it. I'm trying to avoid that. I saw it and I was like, oh, that is fucking cool. Didn't, I haven't purchased it yet, but it's gonna get played at some point in time. It's called. Pray for the gods. It is Breath of the Wild meets Shadow of the Colossus.
Fuck! I knew it! I knew it! I knew I wrote it down wrong. I knew it. 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 When I... God damn it. Alright. It's random every time, so this doesn't help. Okay. Alright, we're gonna start over. One. Shit, I already didn't see two, because how could I? Things go on way too long. Okay. Four. Five, six. I gotta get ready to write. Okay. Another one of those. Another scroll. Golem's Haven is home to Fairy Clover, a special plant brought here from a distant land by one of the first druids. They said that when combined with other rare ingredients, it can remove evil spells and curses. I wonder if it can also do something to tame my mentor's awful mood swings. Man, Elisa's just used these scrolls to like throw shade constantly. Come back later? What an asshole.
got another teleport pad. Another dark spot. I'm telling you, we're getting a shovel. Just ahead was the entrance to the Runestone Temple. Eight knights were already there, but they couldn't get inside. Oh, sort of. You see, there was a trick to getting the stone door open. Mage of the Black Rose. Ah ha ha! No one stands a chance against the disciple of Crocus. Question now is, do you remember where all the dark spots are? No, I don't. Tetra. How are you doing tonight? the next one down. Oh, never mind, there is no one. Just chillin'. Cool. We are, we're playing a game that you are familiar with. Did you ever finish this game? I don't remember. I remember you started it, but I don't remember if I ever saw you finish it or not. Lily felt the power of ancient magic emanating from the walls. It was giving life to the... Finished it offline. Cool. Was it... Was the... Was the juice worth the squeeze? Long dormant stone creatures inside. Got it, so the cinnamon roll tiles just vanish if you step on them. Was it was it worth the playthrough? Is what I'm saying. Was the juice worth the squeeze? It's just a stupid line. From me. Might as well go this way. No, not to. Wait, was there a crack back there that I missed? Nope, oh, that's just... Ow. 
Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Cool. Oh my. Cinnamon rolls. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. No. God damn it. <laughs> well, I didn't want to use that there, but that's okay. Oh god. Fine game. I am not sure why I didn't follow it through there. Like, I juked back at one point, and I swear I was standing over a pit, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Can those be hurt, or are they like... No, they're like anti-fair. Oh, well, I guess you could hurt anti-fair. But... Got it. So we're coming in from both sides. Okay. game's been really cute so far. I am glad that the dev survived to make the second one. Nothing for killing the rats, huh? Okay. So be it. Oh, bye. Oh, wow. Okay. Scroll, I wonder who at least is going to throw shade on this time. The disciples were right. The magic of the druids that built this temple still lingers to this day. I better not disturb this place, or else rock and plant alike will come alive and destroy me. The guardian of the druids made to defend their fairy clovers must be quite terrifying. Eek. Oh, okay.
All right. Another potion. Got a lot of potions. Hey now. Oh, another scroll already. There's an old druid prophecy that says an outsider will one day sway the hearts of many. Converted druids will use their magic to help this to help spread destruction across these lands, and the worst part, the outsider will eventually spread the same darkness to other parts of the kingdom. Here's hoping that happens after my travels. for that door Which means we have to go this way I don't know if that was the intended strat or not, but so far, most solutions have been throw bombs at it until it stops moving. We've got all the feathers that person was looking for. Oh, these are different. These are the blocks that fall when you... Oh, gee.
No! Oh, what's this? Listen, I do not appreciate magic pew pew lasers, okay? Officially scientific, yes. Patent pending. I don't I don't like this room. I don't I don't like this room at all. Snack, come back here. Some ace snakes. I will say that I think that the the main character sprite's a little ill-defined. Maybe that's intentional. Oh, this room again. God damn it. Uh. 
So, Brid, how many of those statues are you going to order? One for every room? So that you can behold Sephiroth's mighty sword? Oh, for fuck's sake, Cox. I'm just saying, I feel like I'm really qualified to decide the dick dimensions of video game characters. I feel like that's a that's a job I am aptly qualified for. Oh no. Destroy the trespasser with fire. Or we could not, you know, I'm just saying, like... Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, we got the bow and arrow. All right. A strong bow, mighty and true, Lily was now a threat to her enemies, even at long distances. Long, long man. Thanks. I don't know how you were supposed to do that fight. Oh, it also goes by the stamina gauge. Okay. That's kind of neat. Oh, I hate this. You only have enough stamina for exactly two arrows. Fuck my life, okay. There we go. That's why those stamina crystals are so important. Hmm. 
Well, hello. Go away. Nope. Oh my lord, so many anti-fairies. Holy crap, go away. Okay, 69. Got it. And then... No, that's not right. We got 69, and then this one over here is... one's got to be that way. Ow. Okay, fine. Is it another scroll? Oh, it's a stamina thing. Sweet. We'll take it. I was like, is this going to be another scroll where Elisa talks shit about her mentor? Because that's hilarious. Alright, so we got another one of these. What? Oh. Am I supposed to start on this? Okay.
What was that? Oh, nice. You attack again after while you're in the sword swing animation. Does the slam. I will take those kind of puzzles over the Simon Says puzzles any day. Holy shit. Just just really cute. Oh no, we got cinnamon roll up blocks. I fine, fine game that way. Well gonna fall. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Oh god damn it. Ah, there's the starting block. Okay. for another rotation here. That was not the correct way. That was. Wow, that one's a ways off. Holy crap. Wow, there's a lot going on in this room. Okay.
Oh, we got another one of these puzzles. Okay. has it's just a lot it's like real extra Interesting, it won't let me assign anything to the X button. Alright, so we got it. Well, at least they heal you when you get hit, or after you beat them. Okay, so we got uh, two ends pointing up. money. Okay, let's go see what the others are. pointing to the left. Okay. So up, up, left, left. Not the Konami code we were looking for.
Boss fight? The young knight walked by the aged statues as the sound of water echoed through the room. Somehow, she knew the fairy clover was near. And then she heard it. Boom, boom, boom. Yikes! An ancient golem kept awake by old magic pounded its fists in anger. All intruders must be destroyed! Arr. I can maybe hit it more than once per. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Not enough stamina. Like, it's clearly opening its mouth like I can throw a bomb in there when it's doing this, right? Fucking hell. That was not what I was hoping it would do, okay. Revive me. Yep, there we go. Got him.
Please, young knight, we require that one no one interrupt us while we are while we care for our sleeping king. Yeah, it was actually a really good boss fight. Like it was, it was fair. Tough, but fair. Very clever, but how did you... Didn't she just get knighted the other day? I thought recruits weren't even supposed to leave the castle. This very clever will serve us well. Good job, recruit. Having proven your bravery and skill, we ask that you assist, in the knights, assist the knights of the Rose heading to the Boiling Caverns. That is where the next ingredient is found. Old Snapdragon. They may need help from a young yet formidable knight such as yourself. Good luck. That's it? Just a good job? They should be throwing our party. With lots of cake! Sugar-free cake for us old folks, but unfortunately the disciples know they cannot celebrate just yet. Since the other knights haven't returned with the other ingredients, the disciples can't help but feel troubled. Pfft. <laughs> bunch of old... Bunch of worry warts. They'll find the other ingredients. They'll see. I don't know. The Boiling Cavern sounds like a dangerous place. Very dangerous. In fact, we need to cross a perilous... Mire, mire known as the Gasping Marshes just to get there. Gasp! Exactly, the air there is so thick and foul that just breathing inside is difficult. Kinda like Grandpa's room. Hehehe. <laughs> Lily will find the Gasping Marshes by heading southeast from the castle. Now we found a an arrow puzzle on the way to I don't know what to do with those. Which is interesting. Because I kind of thought the game was going to give us some kind of hint before we were done with that dungeon, but apparently not. Oh, we need to go to the feather person. Nope, frog button. Sorry. Nice. Druid Edel told me it was Crocus's teacher during his apprenticeship here. According to him, Crocus always showed great talent in the art of magic, but he was also unruly and, uh, and easily annoyed. He couldn't accept that his brother would be king and not him. Grouchy or not, we're lucky to have a powerful wizard protecting our kingdom. Dun, 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 dun.
Apparently the trees stay pacified once you kill them. That's nice. Nope, that's apparently not the answer. This is the fairy fountain. Yep. No, I keep pushing the wrong button. I keep pushing A thinking it's gonna be for to talk to him. Swap that? Is that a. Is that a, is that a yeah, I don't really like that, but okay. Whatever. I accept that there is nothing I can do. No, God. Ow. Probably stop throwing bombs. At least at spots where I'm going to be standing. You know what we can do to get that is. Can't help but think we're gonna get the ability to set stones down on stuff. Ah, shit.
All right, Brid, you have a good night. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping by. That's the wrong button. We have removed Crocus's influence all over the tree spirits. We are forever near dead. Oh, nice! My tree lord was able to resist your wizard's influence. That was worth it. That's an extra heart. Why am I glad you're here? I was digging for a rare druid artifact, so my shovel fell down here. Aha! She's a knight with a shovel! I love it! <laughs> Shovel knight. Amazing. Haha, <laughs> wait, I don't get it. So apparently she can like dig down. Oh my. I like money. Ninety-five. Almost close enough to get that friggin' silver bar.
There we go. That'll be enough to get the silver bar, and then do everything in this shop, I think. I don't know what it's going to be used for yet, but I'm betting it's important. Just looks like it's a key item. Or maybe like you'll reforge the sword or something. Still don't know what I need mushrooms for. I mean, I, I was willing to accept just money, but if you're telling me that, like, it's also going to give me some, some useful items, I will take it. I'm an idea for a special weapon attachment that I think you'll like. Bring me a silver ingot. Hey! And a handcrafted steel gear. And 20 druid feathers. My lord! Do I have the druid feathers? I do. I have the... Okay, I need the gear, which means I need 200 coins. Again. Hey, it's another scroll from Elisa. Mm -hmm. Visit my friends in the kingdom before sneaking out of the castle, you know, in case I get kidnapped by thieves, boiled by witches, or worse. It's a dangerous world out there, but I'm ready to explore places where few dare go. Who knows, maybe I'll even meet my soulmate in another village, or even better, learn a cool new spell. Young disciples like me aren't allowed to leave the castle alone, but I couldn't help it. I used my powerful spells to sn sneak out and stay safe out there. Everywhere else I went, I wrote down my thoughts on scrolls and put them in my robe. But it wasn't until I arrived here that I noticed my scroll case had a big hole in it, so now my precious writings are still out there. You see them while you bring them back? There are 20 of them in the, in the world. Okay. Got it!
Sage the Mage. That's quite the statue. We don't have 30 gold to pay. Piece of heart. Everybody says my hair is the brightest. Don't you agree? We're gonna be married right now if we weren't so picky. Don't blame our fifth sister for moving out. We may be quintuplets, but I still think I'm prettiest. Well, look at that. Travel over the kingdom to find inspiration for my songs. What a life. Would you like to hear a song? Sure. Red is the rose that in Blossom Kingdom grows. Fair is the lily of the valley. Clear is the water from that golem's haven. Clear is the water that from golem's haven flows. My love is fairer than any. Come over the hills, my body blossom less. Come over the hills to your darling. You choose the mushroom. Love, I'll make the soup. And I'll be your true love forever. DJs love their violence and their death. If you brought me a skull, that would grab their attention. Please don't tell the Knight Commander that I'm in here. Dude, slacking. Saw Jennifer already? Did she say anything about me or the letter? Lumberjack named Jack. Last name Lumber. Probably chopping down trees south of Blossom Castle. Well, alright then. Lumberjack named Jack Lumber.
Aha! Oh, that's the wrong button. Have you checked out the shops in town? They have great items for sale. I'm from the local tourism board. <laughs> Be sure to stimulate the economy, fellow villager. There are 29 creatures from the kingdom. Don't ask me how they keep track. Destroy enough of them and he'll give you a special gift, huh? Cool. Oh, I see a chest over there. How to get to it. I hope I'm going the right way. I saw a chest over here and I kind of want it. Yay, I went the right way. Nice! We will take that gladly. That's already three. Wow. I can just find one more. Get to the chest before the timer runs out and its contents are yours. Would you like to try my course? It'll cost 10 gold. Sure.
Made it. Excellent. Okay, but like, how do I get up there? If I can blow up that rock, which clearly has something under it. Thank you. Cool. Take it. Cool. Potions are nice. I will I will take free potions. Absolutely. Still looking for this lumberjack that's south of the castle.
Unfortunately for Lily, the entire band of cap stood between her and the gasping marshes. I bet they keep all their soul and stuff there. Bandit hideouts always have big stashes of gold. Yeah, I can. I see that I can shoot the thing. Oh, ready? Not entirely. Ready to go there yet? Piece of, this is a piece of cake compared to what I worked up in Pinecone Village. Just an adorable game all the way around. Holy shit. God damn it. Okay, that's... Oh, God damn it.
far, I've gotten way more heart pieces than I have stamina pieces. See about the next letter. Another successful delivery. You don't. You made sure the letter didn't get all wet and muddy, right? James in Pinecone Village. Here to find. I have 232, which means I should be able to get the other piece needed for. The shop? Nope. I don't remember where the shop's at. Are you the shop? Nope, you're the inn. Are you the shop? Nope. shop? Nope. I got a heart from a butterfly. That's it. Death to all the butterflies. Uh, that dude wanted, but... Oh, he's a gambler. That's right. Yeah, I feel like I have other things I could be spending my money on right now. Are you a shop? No, but you have a chest. Thank you. What do you guys say? Everybody says they know how to make mushroom soup, but I'm not seeing anybody who would actually give me mushroom soup, and there was a person asking for mushroom home. I think this is home, if I remember. Uh, 
Wish I remembered where the shop is. See what this tribo does. Hold on. Oh, I like it. Man, so much money. Nice potion. Okay. Less useful, but still not bad. We'll get to that rock here in just a second. That was not what I intended.
Oh my. Oh my. Oh my! I'm tempted to go back and get that piece of heart. Lily approached the bridge. She knew she was walking into a trap. That's when the bandit leader appeared. You mean the pirate queen? No, their leader was, um, bandit ninja. Pirate Queen! Bandit Ninja! Throw a Pirate Queen. See, now going back and getting that would really be worth it. There's still part of me that wants to explore even more.
Hold the bow, and there was just a chest sitting there. Are you skipping parts of the story again? Of course not. I was just about to say, just a, just a swarm of rats appeared. That's too easy, Grandpa. <laughs> One out of twenty brains. We're collecting zombie brains. Awesome. Oh my. I apparently can't go north yet. It's like blocking me off that way. Curious. Well, I think we're gonna go try that gambling spot too while we got the money. Like, I love going to the tavern. Booze is awesome. And she's not wrong.
Damn. You already run all my prizes. Excellent. That exchange was definitely worth it. Let's see what's down here. All right, finally heading into the marshes. This music's pretty good.
Like, I can see a path there, but it's like... just made an amazing discovery. You see the hole there? Inside is a mythical fairy creature. Unfortunately, she refuses to talk to me. But hey, forget the fairy. I'm looking for the fabled wishing well. Not sure what it does, but I bet it's neat. There's also a big statue somewhere, and north of that is the Boiling Caverns. They say there's terrifying entrance that was once carved long ago by fire mages to ward off travelers. Game's being real generous with the pieces of heart. I like it. I wonder how many hearts total there are in the game. Hey, Grandpa, why did the mushroom go to the party? I don't know. Because he was a fungi. Fungi. Ha ah. ha ha. Even the disciples don't know why this place is so haunted. Did the bodies of the deceased warriors sink below the watery surface after war? Or do necromancers practice black magic here in secret? All I want to know is why this place smells worse than the night's quarters. I'll probably stink for weeks after I get out of here. Well, if I get out. Damn it. Somewhere, somebody's looking for 20 of those. Closed and come back later. Uh. 
Using the clouds to obscure paths is kind of a neat idea. Alright, I stayed with, this, with Scarl the Witch for a while to rest. She's friendly, but I'm not sure why she's so obsessed with souls. She also kept mentioning a magic necklace that she lost somewhere in the swamp. Definitely keeping it if I find it on my way back, on my way to the Boiling Caverns. It's not like she needs it. Witches can fly on shovels, right? Was it mops? I forget. I'm surprised the kids didn't chime in. No, Grandpa, it's proofs. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get the ability to manifest stones or something. Yeah, there was a can of Joja Cola sitting there. Cans of Joja Cola do I have? Ten? Okay. I'm one piece of heart away from another. Hello, fellow traveler. I set up a camp here for a bunch of Oh hey! I'm trying, dude. Oh, excellent. Wow. Magic necklace that blesses the wearer with speed and stability over any terrain. Very useful. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm faster. Oh, that's so nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Witch's hut, I assume. Woof, woof. What's a yellow potion do? Sunshine in a bottle. Drinking a special potion makes Lily invulnerable for a while. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't think I have 20. I have 15.
Interesting, I can't squeeze through there. Even though it looks like I should be able to. Seventeen. Eighteen. There we go. Go get us some Joja Cola. Stamina. Two hundred and eleven gold, I need two hundred and fifty. All right, so I have access to the Boiling Caverns now.
matters. Alright, second dungeon. Stench of sulfur welcomed the young knight as she stepped inside the boiling caverns. Lava surged beneath the floor and living flames danced on the great in the great hall. there. Got it, I have to go. Okay, going. Oh my. Nope. Oh man, there's just so many enemies here. What a cute little game. That seems like a reverse, okay. Oof, I do not like this. Okay.
Just a lot of enemies right there. Alright. All right, we got the small key, cool. We're sitting pretty good for health, too. Okay, what got going on here? It's an interesting take on the uh, the colored block puzzles. Okay. It's a nice little progression from the original. Oh. Looks like we got maybe three possible spots I can get to on these.
Is she checking her cell? <gasps> she checks her cell phone? That's adorable. Try hopping on grinder. Snap. I remember reading about a group of disciples who separated from us and fled to the Boiling Caverns. They broke our rules and mastered how to summon flame spirits. Sadly, they all perished after calling an ancient demon into our world by mistake. Only our wizard Crocus is powerful enough to summon it again, but I know he'd never put the kingdom in such danger. Uh... I'm Murray, the all-powerful... Talking demonic skull.
Interesting, if you're just able to, you could just basically tank the damage it looks like there. I wonder if that's a speedrun strat. I hope I screwed it up. Wait. Is this boss time? Why does this feel like boss time? Oh, this is boss time.
Man, holy crap. There's a lot going on in this fight. Holy shit. Basically just tank the damage. Boomerang? My weapon can hit multiple enemies in a single toss. That feels less like... Hmm. There's more dungeon. That was a mini boss. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, dumb. Okay.
All right, two down, good to go. Shit. Just not into sake? Well, you know what? Listen, if you uh, if you don't want it, you uh, feel free to volunteer it to the old pro gamer juice uh, reserve. I do not understand. I have to throw it at just the right spot. Okay. Got it. How was dinner? Steak and some potatoes. Oh, don't go breaking my heart. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Shit, I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up again. Ah, uh, yep. In fact, I'm sure I did. By the way, she will pull out her cell phone. I'm glad that you're uh, you're getting your your iron in with that steak. Very important. And now she pulls out her cell phone. Probably on Snapchat. Maybe maybe browsing Reddit. Yeah, I'm fucked. Okay, let's see. Nope, already fucked it up.
We are in the second dungeon now, Gaia. It's looking like there's three dungeons. Nope. God damn it. I wasn't fast enough. There's probably a fourth dungeon in the castle. Oh no, this one's trickier. Okay. See, it would have you think, okay. The mini boss in this dungeon to get the boomerang was a little tanky. Like, I literally just chugged potions and tanked all the damage as I sat there and beat it to death with the sword. But, okay. Oh, wow, it's these dudes, okay. Boom, the boomerang, my only weakness. I guess we're gonna go right. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, wow. Potion, thank you.
Oh, well done, butterfly. First time I used the butterfly, it was not that useful. Moonlight Butterfly for the win, indeed. Please. Oh, shit. This did not look great. Hey! God damn it, game. Give me that money. Oof.
This dungeon is considerably longer than the first one. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You definitely feel like this dungeon has a lot more meat to it than the last one did. The last one was kind of like, I don't want to call it a tutorial dungeon, but... Y'all know how, like, the first dungeon in a Zelda game is always like the, hey... This is how dungeons are gonna work going forward. Lava pools, lilies burning. Right, yeah, now it's like... Welcome to the dungeon, we got fun and pain. <laughs> this should be the boss. Sure. Sure. I use a potion and then you give me the hearts. Got it. Lily knew the ingredient she needed was near, but she also felt a dark presence. Was it a live dragon? Much worse. Dog, have I desired to char the bones and flesh of a filthy human again? Tell me, what purpose does a pathetic little girl have in my fiery domain? Stand aside, demon. I'm leaving with an old snapdragon, whether it pleases you or not. Man, she's just like... Get the fuck out of the way, bitch. I ain't got time for this. Damn it, I'm out of fucking... 
running out of stamina here. Dead. It's the recruit again. Gave up quicker than we thought. <laughs> I came to give you an old Snapdragon. Can this really be it? No question, it's peppery aroma is already making my nostrils itch. A single recruit has given us yet another glimmer of hope? I'd like to find the third ingredient, but I don't know where to look. But bravery, ice orchid is found in the snowy lands of Snowfall Summit. Put a memento. Sorry about that. The tiniest, tiniest spider decided to come down right in front of the TV. <laughs> I would never have seen him if he didn't drop down in front of the white area behind the text. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Alright. The lift that will take you up there will be fixed now. Good luck. Head northwest from Blossom Castle to find it. Wait, draw your sword, recruit. Now your roundhouse attack will be more powerful. May our blessings serve you well. Off you go now, young knight. Head north to Snowfall Summit and bring back an ice orchid. <laughs> exactly. And he was like, what you playing? Smack. Show me on this screen how many scrolls I have. I have 11 of 20. I now have the shovel, by the way. Remember I said that I thought there was going to be a shovel? Turns out that yes, there is in fact a shovel in the game.
I don't know what I'd do out here without mushroom soup. The red kind is spicy and delicious, while the yellow ones taste sweet and sugary. Old timers say the nasty green mushrooms are good for digestion. Blah. The purple ones are yummy, but turn your hair the same color, which is neat. Temporary blindness, not so much. Fuck. Hotness, you like my plants? I have specimens from all over the world. The nutrient-rich water from the marsh helps them grow. I also use my own fertilizer. I'm To make it, I need druid feathers, skulls, mushrooms, honeycombs, zombie brains, and a final ingredient I'm not at liberty to reveal. Would you want to help? Bring me the ingredients I mentioned, and I'll give you a nice reward. Fuck my life. I don't even know where to get skulls yet. Suddenly, Lily came across something amazing inside the grove of trees. What was it? It was a house made out of candy. Yes, candy. Wait, candy? I was going to say with gumdrops and peppermint and candy canes and oh ho ho, you two have quite a sweet tooth. Okay, it was a candy house. Lily couldn't wait to see who lived inside. Right. Harvested it myself. Made some fresh this morning. Oh, hi, I'm sorry. Are you expecting an evil witch? It's just me here, Baker Jen. My specialty is cupcakes. Secret ingredient giant butterflies. I have an extra one if you'd like. Fuck you, Butterfree. Alright, now I can get back here more easily. Excellent. Uh, I need to go south to the wishing well. Now that I have the appropriate number... the appropriate number of coins to dump into the wishing well. Let's go back there. I guess I could have just warped. This track is pretty good. stamina oh my fuck no way holy shit 500 coins fuck you wishing well There's just some greedy little goblet down at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, 500 coins, 500 coins. I'll give you something cool.
To the north! Sage the Mage, I sense there's more to you than sword and shield, young knight. Power flows through thy very life essence. Ah, but power's not enough. No, no! Without a sharp memory, one can never harness that power and be a true hero. Prove thyself at a master of thine own mind, and ye shall be rewarded. I might have fucked this one up. Problem is, I have to start writing the moment I see it. Ah, sh know this one at all. I watch the replay here. Thank you.
Oh. Okay. Don't tap your foot at me, miss. I might have fucked it up. In fact, I'm sure I did. Fuck. This one's tough. Hold on. Uh, okay. Damn it. 
didn't mean to touch the. I was actually. Fuck. That was a mistake. That was another mistake. Fuck. Fuck it. I don't know what's back there. I'm back for it if I want it. Ah, that is an interesting puzzle. Holy shit. Okay. Hold on. G -g 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 ghost Hey, remember that time that we were play that I was playing a really cool fighting game and it turned out to just be a an H game? Do I dare to dig up? Oh, looking back, it's pretty funny, but... I will say that as a fighting game, it's actually really well designed and, you know, put together. Okay. I feel like there's more to that. Now I'm gonna go try and push on all the tombstones. I'll probably gonna regret this, but. I think I can push on you. Okay, moving on. I have a feeling I'm gonna be back there for something. Okay, I've got the warp point, so.
Interesting. I wonder if we're going to get some way to make fire yet. I would have thought that it would have been in the... you would think, wouldn't you? Kind of like it in the lightsaber. cheating maybe Wow. was up ahead was Winterthaw, a cozy village nestled below the Fridges Mountains. Oh, hey, it's the uh, bard again. You've heard of the new, more powerful bombs I've developed. Everyone is talking about them. What? You want me to tell you how to make them? What are you going to do for me? Nothing? Well, I can't just tell you my secret recipe. We live in a society where people have to pay for the things they want. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I will sell you my new bot recipe for 300 gold coins. Now I have 300 gold. Oh, well, fine. Screw you then. Let's murder you in your sleep and take him. What? No, I said, uh, I, I said I'll pedal in my sleep. Oh, shit. Stab, 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 stab. Not it. <laughs> That's not the solution.
If you think red hair is weird, wait until you go to Pinecone Village. What if I don't want to go to Pinecone Village? You ever think about that? It's not like I have a letter for there or anything. Yeah, the lift shouldn't be busted because the one person just told me it's fixed. What is life? Psh. I have a secret basement. How do you get to the secret basement? There it is. Damn it. Never mind. Oh my lord. No, god damn it. Ugh. I disagree with the fact I disagree with that judgment call game. I don't think I fell off that one, but okay. And so the game learns sin's greatest weakness, flaws. You will not make me lose this, Gaia. God damn it, Gaia! Ah! Uh. God damn it, Gaia! <laughs> game. Oh my god.
Hold on, I can't look at that. I'm not looking. Game. Please. I need a cigarette. Like, holy shit. I don't even smoke. And I, I need a cigarette after that. No, that was not where I wanted to go. Thank you so much for the bits, Gaia. I hate bees. One time a bee. Shh, tell us about what. You, tell us about when you got stung on your bottom later. See, not such a piece of crap sword after all, is it? There's lasers fucking coming out the front. Guy Lice Rife Cheer Dex 500. Wow, that went way too long. Great job defeating your greatest foe. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 500 bits, Gaia. That fucking... That was a really long... That puzzle overstayed its welcome. Don't feel bad. That was hilarious. It was a it was a well timed narration. The really hilarious part, guy, was I I saw out of my peripheral vision I saw it pop, and I was like, and I was tempted to look, but I was like. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm too into this at the moment. And then I saw this pop over here because this has my my activity list, like ev events on Twitch. And uh, I realized I had a narration incoming, and I'm like, oh, what did she say? And then you said it, and it's like, god damn it, that's so good. Ugh, I can't be bad. <laughs> Oh jeez, my bees have been acting crazy ever since the king's brother passed by here. Now they're too aggressive for me to harvest their delicious honey. Help me collect their honey and there will be a reward in it for you. Can I just kill these ones and then, you know... So the, that particular puzzle exposed what might have... Uh, my farm, my farm, oh nilly, my farm. It's overrun by mushrooms. You gots to help me, Sir Knight. Please, if I don't get rid of these dang mush mushrooms, old Pa is gonna throw a fit when he gets back. Sure, but I hope you don't need crops.
Ooh. Uh. There you go. Got rid of all the mushrooms. We interrupt this film to apologize for this unwarranted attack <laughs> by the supporting feature. Luckily, we have been prepared for this eventuality and are now taking steps to remedy it. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid, Keeper CGC. How was your, uh, how was your stream? What were you streaming? It's good. It's good to start Blossom Tales. So much fun. Oh, yes. It is a really cute game. I've got, I've got the second one as well, and I'm going to be streaming it uh, shortly after I beat the first one. Face the glow stick of destiny. So, hey Raiders, welcome. I'm uh, I'm Sin. I'm an up and coming variety streamer here on Twitch. Um, I stream a little bit of everything, honestly. Grew up in the SNES in this NES era. That's where my heart lies. I usually stream uh, starting at 9 p.m. Central. Uh, pretty much every night that I can, because I have no life right now. So. <laughs> yeah, the second one's actually on sale right now, I think. Uh, but yeah, it was super... I'm, I'm so glad that the developer made it, because, like, apparently when they launched on Steam, it didn't do as well as they had hoped. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, and so... They were on the verge of like basically not being able to to make another another game like they were they were on the verge of having to close out shop and uh the um the switch launch basically saved them I start this wrong I do too and I, I was talking I, I mentioned this earlier but we finally hit a point where game development is accessible enough that you can you have all these people who were who grew up with Zelda and they are now making their own games that are very clearly inspired by you know the original and it's just it's just awesome like nothing but mad respect for people who make video games i think i screwed this up from the start i sure did okay okay have to go no i don't this way
I have played Ocean's Heart. Ocean's Heart was good. A little rough around the edges, but really good. Like it needed it needed some more polish. Um, I have not played Rogue Heroes. Uh, it's another scroll. Okay. Man, Elisa got everywhere. Like, why am I saving the kingdom? Everywhere I go, it's like Elisa was here. Yeah, Ocean's Heart was a really excellent game, and I, you know, like I, like I said, I have mad respect for the developer, you know, taking their taking their idea from or taking their game from idea to full creation. Bravo! And I will never, I will never bag on it for being an honest attempt at a Zelda-like, and it succeeded at that. Um, my my most solid complaint about the, about Ocean's Heart was that the difficulty curve needed to be reworked because in the beginning it felt like you were only you were always one hit away from death and by the end um, by the end it was like everything was just trivial you started throwing salt candles and it was and everything just melted basically I'm liking this music. Salt candles were something I overlooked in the beginning because I'm like, well, this sounds dumb. And then I, there's a spot, there's that spot where you go to the island that you get shipwrecked on the island and the game takes away all your items and it gives you salt candles pretty early. And so it like forced me to use them. And once I saw exactly what they did, it was like, oh, holy shit, these are powerful. Printed villagers walked into snowy ground of Pinecone Village as the smell of hot cocoa filled the air. Dr. Zombie gives me the creeps. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. There's not really... I mean, those are okay items, but... There's nothing, there's not like a key item sitting there that I need. <laughs> Heads and brains in jars. Okay, well. Oh, hey, Elisa was here too. I had a lovely stay at Pinecum Village, even though it's very cold. The people always have a big smile on their face. My next stop is Frostfoot Shrine. They say you have to cross a giant snowy cemetery to get there. Should be no problem with some tasty hot cocoa to keep my buns from freezing. And if they do, I'll take a dip at the hot springs along the way. I need to talk to you. Talk. Talk. You know. What is this, like a guest book? Do I sign it? Talk. Talk, talk, talk.
I know I have to deliver a letter to one of y'all. Hey, Lisa was here too. Shocker. Everyone says I have a death wish for wanting to travel to the Monk Temple. It's not my fault I'm crazy about adventure. Let's see. Once I reach the hot springs, they said go north to where some hermit guy lives. From there, I should eventually find the temple if I keep going east. Let's do this. There's a magic necklace somewhere in the gasping marshes. Yep. Got it already. The catacombs under Frostfoot Shrine hold the remains of a hundred monks. First, an endless blizzard, and now zombies? Winterthaw, here I come. I've tried to beat the archery game so many times, but I just can't do it. I think there's something wrong with me. Zombies won't stop until whoever offended the temple spirits is punished. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. What's wrong, you ask? I guess I can't hide it very well. My mother is sick, and we fear it may be too late. The only thing that can save her now is a health potion, but we don't have enough money to buy one. Wait, you want to just give me a health potion? Sure. Thank you so much, young knight, to show you my I am grateful. Please accept this special gift. Peace of heart. Peace of heart! Alright. Who am I supposed to deliver this letter to? Can I can't tell if this is a vine or if it's a crack, so we're gonna take a chance. The vine. Tell me who I'm supposed to deliver this to? No, I can't go down to the, oh, that's, that's shitty. I can't go down to the letter to see who I'm supposed to deliver it to. Jesus Christ, this guy is... Why am I so angry? I was once a respected scientist for my research of the effects of magic on the dead. My goal was to discover a vaccine that prevent necromancers from using bodies for evil. Then the king's brother accused me of trying to raise an undead army. Pfft. I was banished from the kingdom and forced to set up shop in this winter wasteland where I raised an undead army. If only I could continue my research. I'm very low on test subjects and collecting zombie brains is dangerous work, so I raised an undead army. Do you like fighting zombies? I'll reward you each time you bring me 20 brains. The bard is here too. Over the graves and through the woods. To Frostfoot Shrine we go. The monks came today to show us the way. Through white and drifted snow. Over the graves and through the woods. Oh, how the wind does blow. It stings the toes and bites the noses. Up the mountain we go. Excellent! Pizza Heart. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. Of course it always snows here. Why do you think it's called Snowfall Summit? <laughs> ha! I knew you had money. A letter? What, there's a delay in my delivery because of mushroom season? Darn it! By this time I thought I'd already be soaking my red-haired body in my own private hot tub. Ah, oh, well, don't tell anyone.
All right, go back to the mail delivery person. Get paid. Alrighty. Thank you. And yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. Sleep well. I assumed, man. I should not have. Thank you for stopping by. The bard in the small Golem's Haven village. I hear rocks are coming alive and crushing things over there. I don't want to receive any complaints about a crumpled letter, okay? Well. We're just delivering parcels, and this person's all like, Hey, listen. Uh, uh, nice. Not the right way. That's definitely not the right way. I made a wrong turn. I made a wrong turn, I'm so confused. How to confuse sin in one easy step. Do nothing. And I believe the guard was in. Are you in here? Nope. Bard, are you in here? Nope. I say, Bard, are you here? Anybody see the bard? Nope. Ah, bard, there you are. I already know where this one's at. Now he's just having me deliver to spots I've already been to, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if, like, there is actually a reward at the end of this, or if I'm just... ...in my wheels now. F525392.
They've accepted my application into Blossom Kingdom's Secret Witches Guild. I hope those silly disciples haven't shut it down. Nothing wrong with a little black magic if you know what you're doing. Hehehe. <laughs> By the way, this theme is super close to the witches theme in uh, one of the Zelda games. You know, it doesn't seem like the witch has been in many of the more modern Zelda games now that I think about it. She was she was in Link's Awakening, Link to the Past. Danica in Winterthaw, don't take too long. find Danica. You know that, okay, that theme that was just playing, I've been trying to figure out what song it reminded me of. And it reminds me of the Pokemon, uh, Da 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 And I know that's got to be like inspired by, you know what I mean? I don't know where Danica is at.
Fuck your snowman. Alright, I'm sure I'll find it. Oh, hey, it's the it's the wizard, the king's brother. Those foolish monks, because of the holy spiritual presence they left behind, I can't enter their temple and destroy all the ice orchids inside. I will use their frozen corpses to make sure no one dares go near their temple. That includes you, recruit. Come forth, my ice legion. Wah ha 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 ha. The wizard's necromatic spell raised the dead to greet the young knight. Brains! Oh, it's this dude again. Hey, Fred, there's not much to look at here besides the Monk Temple. However, I heard from a reliable source that there's buried treasure in one of these graves. Every time I disturb the dirt, I get attacked by the undead. I'm more annoyed than terrified. Can you defend me, young knight? I'll even share some of the treasure. Sure. My dude, could you stop running into them, please? Right? Like, yeah. I can't possibly understand why they're pissed off at me.
Lily felt a strange, warm air hit her cold cheeks. Nearby, there were the famed hot springs of the frozen north. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion? I've never even heard of it. Do you not notice how the undead don't go near the springs? It's incredible. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. I'm gonna write it down and take a look at it after. Bathing suit? What's a bathing suit? I've never. I've, oh, really? I mean, I don't doubt it. That you're. I don't doubt that it's cute. Oh, it's another fucking obstacle course. God damn this guy. What is that horseshit? Ice archers? Uh. Yeah, I think I'll set. I'll, I think I'll sit that one out. Nope, this is the way it came in. Okay. Be where Danica is at. I get so depressed up here, I get no sunshine at all. Say you have a bottle of sunshine in your bag, I'll trade you for a special reward. Sure. Alright. Worth it. Damn an upgrade? Absolutely, I'll take it. I'm just saying that Ice Archer was like earning his overtime.
Aha! Now we have our quick exit back and forth between the top and the bottom. All right. If I go, if I leave, will it let me come back? I'm gonna find out. If not, I'm gonna warp back up to the top. Yep, it sure does. Okay, maybe Danik is down here. All right, and now I have bombs plus. Yee, I got a letter, and it's from my hunk boyfriend. He, he was a disciple, but I guess he's now in, co in a cooler group. What did he say they were called? Mages of the Black something. Thanks for delivery, cutie. The Stan of Stan's Traveling Salesman, for whatever reason, he specifically asked that it be delivered to his tent just outside Pinecode Village. Don't ask me why. Okay. I think that's the guy, the tents that we've been seeing that says closed. I wonder if they'll be open now. I wonder if that's what this was all about, was to get that the traveling salesman opened up. So how's Cherry doing, Gaia? How is the fearsome beast? Some beast is doing well. She come over when I'm working on stuff and be like, stare at the TV and dema I demand the birds. Did Cherry have any reaction when I was playing Stray, or was it just 
uh, Brid's cat. Ah, uh, gotcha. I was curious about that. Well, yes, because a tree maze is exactly what I wanted right now. Wow, okay. I don't think this is the right way. Using my highly honed bullshit detector, I think that this is in fact not the right way to go. I guess not. he's not. Oh my lord. Wow. Please die. Nothing? Wow. Swole Skelly.
I remember how this was just a young woman wanting to become a knight, and now she's carrying around, like, brains in her pocket and shit. There's just a chest sitting there? Boring! Wait, there was also a puzzle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Grr. That puzzle was too simple. There were actually singing stones. Oh, fuck you, game. Okay, good. Too easy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, there was one last puzzle she had to solve. Oh, no. Uh... Definitely feel like that's right. Down.
I don't get it. I don't. Unless that's, oh. Okay, let's try this. Let's try it. it. Maybe it's the, instead of going like clockwise, maybe it's the leftmost. All right, so that'd make this one, that one. Next one would be. I don't get what I'm doing wrong. I'm just inclined to sit here and wait for it. Oh. Like I keep thinking that it's like I'm looking. It's got to be like I have to turn that one 180 degrees because it's how I'm looking at it, right? But I don't know. If we just take it as verbatim, then it's think you kind of know why by all means i will take i will take a little back seating on this one Okay. So, are we doing clockwise? Or, well, I tried. I tried it clockwise. So let's try it left mode. Comes that one. That one. Now, so let's try clockwise. Still nothing. Okay. If I go back in, does it, it starts all over again from the beginning? Of course it does.
Hey, we got Sword of Tetris pieces. What she found was quite disheartening. What was it? Tell us. It was several of her fellow knights frozen solid. Oh no! Looks like they froze while trying to figure out how to open the gate. What do you think, kids? Will Lily figure out how to get inside to find the last ingredient? Do it, Lily. Before you also turn into a popsicle. I see. Because I assume I see. Okay, this one's legs are spread. Okay, that's why he's a uh, he's at a reverse T. His arms are down, but his legs are spread. Okay. Okay. This one's a T. This one's an eight, or a sideways H, because all of his leg, arms and legs are spread. The knight could see her breath as she walked into the frozen halls of Frostfoot Shrine. And unfortunately, that is where we're going to call it for the year. Let me take a look here and see who is currently streaming. There is nobody I know who's streaming right now, and there's nobody else playing Blossom Tales. So, on that wonderful note, I think I'm just going to call it. Hope you all had a good time watching. 
back tomorrow night with more Blossom Tales. Hopefully we'll get this game wrapped up tomorrow. Um, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. If you're out there and you're lurking and you liked what you watched, think about giving us a follow. It really helps out. Until then, I will see you next time and I hope you all have a good night. Bye!